welcome to another video. Today we're going to be doing, yeah, part four of my let's fill out my homemade DMC chart and with my 445 color drill pack that I got from Art Dot. So thank you, Art Dot, for allowing me to review this product. So yeah, do you see? I still have so many, and we're just at. I've already. This is already part four. So yeah, this. FYI, this is going to be like a nine part series because my my chart is nine pages long and I've been just doing one page at a time. So yeah. So if you haven't seen part one, two, three, I recommend you watch those maybe. Or, you know, don't. And may, I'll, I might have given more explanation of what I'm doing. So, <laughs> so yeah, let's get started on this since this takes forever to do. So let's see, my first color is 729 here. Um, so I am, so this DMC chart, it is homemade. I have contemplated selling this on Etsy, but I haven't because I don't know. I, I just don't feel like setting it up. I'm, I'm serious about that. I am just <laughs> too lazy right now. I just don't want the extra thing to monitor. Um, so I, I, I did make labels um, for this. I don't know why it keeps explaining, but... Um, and if you want your own labels, I did... I'll provide the link to my templates. Um, but it's a print at your own risk because I am not responsible for um, the labels not printing exactly correct for you. But I've had people comment and said it worked for them. So. Um, so it's it's possible and I've printed it for my own site. So so 729 is old gold medium. So yeah, I I have tried. Let's see, what am I going to talk today about? So it's you know, this is a long ish video. So I have try to think of things to talk about. I I was thinking of Okay, right, so if you saw my week, last week's video on Monday, I, I am rearranging these boxes um, because I added two more. So now I have six. I used to just have four, mainly because these drills that I'm putting away, they're a thousand each and they take up a lot of space. Like, um, so my original plan when I was doing the reorganization was I was going to make my um i was going to split up the rounds and the squares just because hitting down with six boxes can get unwieldy so i figured i'll just separate out the rounds and the squares and then i'll have um i'll separate the rounds and the squares and it'll be easier during hitting down if i'm only dealing with three boxes each um because i'm not going to be hitting down a round and a square at the same time so I figured that would be easier, but after um, taking out, so a good amount of these, I've already taken out the round bags from them. So after taking out the round bags, I realized, okay, so there's no 731. I, I don't know if you remember, I, these, I have 453 different DMC colors in my chart because I got it from a cross stitch website and um, there's only 445 colors in this art dot pack. So there are, what did I say? 453 and there's 445. So there are what eight that are not in here. If I'm, yeah, there's eight not, uh, that are not in here. So it looks like 731 is one of them. So I'm just going to, just going to cut this out here so that the there'll still be the backing tape in there and not so that it's still covered um, in case you know I actually have a 731 DMC show up in a diamond painting um, but I do think there are some DMCs that are not represented in Okay, so apparently I cut that badly. Let me just use the scissors because that's probably easier. Um, there are some colors, I guess, in the cross stitch DMC chart that are not in 
diamond painting. So it's good that I found that out because these are all greens. And so it looks like olive green 731s, olive green dark is not um, in diamond paintings, but that's okay. There's already an olive green very dark and there's an olive green, olive green medium and an olive green light. So, so yeah. Okay, so so we're now we're on 732. I'm just glad I found out and and, the, and and didn't like accidentally drill onto there. So 732. Where's my pen? Okay, here it is. So what was I saying? Oh yeah, so my original plan with the with my reorganizing my um, leftover drill storage was to have three boxes um, for rounds and three boxes for squares, but after doing part one of my reorganizing, I realized I'm not going to be able to fit all my squares, especially with me putting away these, um, because these are squares. After putting away these diamonds in, in these boxes, I'm not going to have, I'm not going to be able to condense my squares to just three boxes. So um, my plan now is to put all of my rounds in two boxes only and put my squares in um, three and a half boxes maybe um, and then use the last half of the box for my special shapes. Um, we'll see. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm, I, I'm gonna see like right now um, my first box and my second box are, this is already box two, my first box is actually still pretty full, and that's where I realized that I, I'm not going to be able to put my squares into just um, three boxes. My this second box is still is actually pretty empty. See, look, I could move this all the way up there, but I am going to be adding each of these to each of these rows here. So we'll see how much this spreads it out. So what was I saying? Oh yeah, so. I think, yeah, my, I think my new plan is to put all my rounds just into two boxes because apparently I don't have that many rounds. Um, I didn't have that many rounds in the first place since I think I've actually done more squares than I have done rounds. So, and a lot of, and most of my rounds come from like budget friendly sites and sometimes, a lot of times actually, it's, it's, Hit, a, hit, or, hit or miss whether the drills have DMCs. So, and I have yet to go and try to match my DMC list drills to here. So, yeah, I think I'm, I think I seriously just have done less rounds. Um, I mean, a good chunk of my inventory is rounds, but okay, so just making sure I'm on the right number. Okay, so 734 is all the green light. But yeah, no, I think I actually have done more squares than rounds. Um, so my leftover drills are more my squares, which is fine because I think I might slightly prefer squares over rounds, just but just slightly. Not There's no me going to be like, no, I only exclusively do rounds or no, I only do squares, but I think I might slightly prefer squares um, but, you know, I do both. So 734. But yeah, I think that will be my plan. Um, I'm hoping, like, I don't know, like, do I have, I really have this many drills? It's like kind of crazy. I've been diamond painting a year and I have somehow accumulated this much. I think it's mainly because, um, Someone made a comment. Man, I forgot who. I'm sorry. Um, someone made a comment that they've been diamond painting longer than I have, and they don't have half as many leftovers as I do. But they, but they tend to do bigger diamond paintings, um, while I actually tend to do 40 by 50s and below, mainly because. I think I might prefer it. I will dabble in the big ones and I I dabble in the big ones and I will still do some big ones, but I primarily stick to these more snack sizes. I I I don't know. I think I think at some point sometimes the big ones get too tedious for me, so 
um, I prefer these ones. So I think with me doing just more diamond paintings as in quantity and not necessarily like, you know, because I mean, a, a small diamond painting is equivalent to like what? Like one big diamond painting is probably equivalent to like 140 by 50 is probably about 225 by 35s and then um oh i'm on my next strip so i have to get the strip and you know the smaller ones oh yeah i forgot this is oops um when i got it i did notice that two of the colors the this this part here where they get like separated out didn't get separated out so that's gonna be fun i'm not going to separate this out on camera i'll just do it off camera but um but you know i just saw that i was like oh yeah this is that one but you know when i i got this item for free i'm not gonna go like complain and get it refunded uh so 7.39 but out of like the 445, I think this is the only one that I saw that looked like this. So when it happens, so 739, just making sure I'm in the right number. So yeah, what was I? Oh yeah, so I was saying that um, even even though I've only been diamond painting less than a year, I mean, I'm a, I'm a little bit more than a year now, I have actually done, I think I'm at 70 something completed, um, but most of those are 40 by 50 and below. So even though I've completed that many quantity, they've been small. So, but I think with me completing that many, I have more of an opportunity of getting drills from every single color. Um, oh, this one's pretty, 740 is tangerine. Um, so yeah, I think, I think that's why I have so many. So I don't, have, I'm, I'm wondering if, I don't think I have um, drills from every single color yet, but um, maybe I'm getting there. Who knows? Well, I do now have at least 45 different colors. <laughs> so, yeah, no, this one's a really pretty color, tangerine. Probably just, it's just much brighter than the pretty bland tan that was right before it. So, yeah. I have somehow accumulated all these drills, and people might ask, why do you keep them? I don't know. Um, I have been using the squares for my heaven and earth design cross stitch pattern, which if you don't know what that is, it's a cross stitch pattern and I've been diamond painting it on a blank canvas using my spare drills. I So I have been using my squares for, for that purpose. So I still have to figure out what I would do with my rounds. Which is actually kind of good that I don't have that many rounds because I don't know what to do with them. Because um, if I do rounds on a blank canvas, the problem with that is the background will be white. So it might not look as good. I, I noticed that doing uh, mystery diamond painting where the background is, you know, they, they keep the background white. It kind of looks a little bit more faded. Like just because there's just the white background. So I, I mean, it might still be interesting to do a cross stitch pattern um, using round drills, but I'm not there yet. <laughs> I have thought of getting another Heaven and Earth Designs pattern because I'm crazy apparently. Um, I haven't pressed play yet, but I've been thinking about it. So, <laughs> Um, yeah, a lot of my plans are, I'm thinking about doing something. Let me get another tray so that I could pour this 742 and 743. So 742 is tangerine light and 743 is yellow medium. So, so the darker color is going to be first so yeah i'm just getting a different tray so i can just leave this in here and i will deal with this after the video is done because this will take me i don't even know if i want to make the effort i might just put this like in a bag that just says 742 743 and just be done with it um that might be what i do <laughs> 742 743 so the darker one first make sure I'm getting the darker one here 
and then 743 is the lighter one. Man, am I really going to go sift through this? I don't know. We'll see how I feel after the video is done. Um, but yeah, 741. I'm just going to put this off to the side there. But, but yeah. Okay, so what was I talking about? So now we're on 744. So now these are looking to be paler and paler yellows. So yellow medium. So this one's yellow pale, yellow light pale. Wow, there's a lot of yellows. Okay. So yeah, I have somehow accumulated this many drills. And in some way, I think other people have asked where I've gotten my baggies. Remarkably, I apparently have so many diamond paintings. I've accumulated these baggies just from diamond painting kits. Um, so yeah, that's where I've gotten all the baggies. This is all from diamond painting kits. Do you see this is this is probably from a diamond painting kit? I don't know from who it can maybe and I just put a put a I just crossed out the number there just so that I don't get confused in the future. Um, but yeah, no, I've accumulated this much. I have apparently diamond painted so much and I have apparently so many diamond paintings that I have accumulated this much. And all it takes for me to do to get more baggies is to kit up a diamond painting that has that comes in baggies and there you go. I got more baggies right there. So yeah. Oh, 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 my labels. My labels. Okay. I don't know what else to talk about. This is the problem with doing these long videos, is coming up with things to talk about. And I actually had plans of what I was going to talk about, and I completely forgot what my plans were. You know, in the moment, I should write it down. Why don't I write it down? Okay. <laughs> so, okay, so, oh yeah, so I was going to say, so um, I'm recording this on Saturday. You will see this on Memorial Day. So it is a three-day weekend for the U.S. Memorial Day. Um, so, so tomorrow I'm actually planning to go out and do stuff. Like I'm going, I'm planning tomorrow to do a, a kind of mini hike. I am so out of shape now that I can't do like the crazy, the crazy like hikes I used to do. I mean, I used to like hike like seven to ten miles every like. Saturday or something or Sunday before and I am so out of shape now that I don't I can't do a 7 to 10 mile hike anymore and I mean hike with like elevation so it's not just it's me going going up a hill like it it used to be something I just did every single weekend and now I'm just so out of shape that yeah so tomorrow I'm going to be doing a short like mini hike it's not really going to be a hike because there's no ele elevation but it's going to be more like a beach walk which you know like actually walking on like sandy beach is sometimes actually harder than you think even if it's flat just because the sand like you use you, your your footing sinks in there so your legs get more tired but yeah i'm going to be doing um a little hike tomorrow so that's why I'm recording this today, because normally I record, I record these videos usually on, I, I record this video usually on Sunday and then put it on Monday. But yeah, no, I have stuff to do. Um, so yeah, if I do start getting into my hiking habit again, I don't know. I might have to like change my videos to only be maybe four times a week instead of the five I'm doing. Although although today I did I did post a six video this week just because I had the video made for Thursday and then I ended up um doing an extra unbox uh, doing another unboxing instead. So I had I had the video already made. So I was like, okay, this is going on Saturday. So I did post six videos last week. Um but oh yeah, I was gonna say um, YouTube milestone. So last week, just like or just a, like two days ago for me, um, 
I got to 100,000 views on YouTube, which is crazy. Can you believe it? 100,000 views. It's, it's, it's awesome. Kind of crazy because like, that's like a tenth of a million people have clicked on, or not necessarily, there's probably people who have clicked on more than one of my videos, so, but there's been that many clicks on a video that I did, so I was like, wow, it seems very milestone-y, I was like, that seems just so awesome, but, but yeah, I was like, wow, I got to 100,000 views, um, so, so even with my little channel, well, is it that little now with my 100,000 views? Um, but with my barely above a thousand subscribers, um, thank you guys for watching my videos. Thank you to newcomers. Thank you to my loyal, like I have a couple very loyal people who've been watching my videos for a while, back even when I had very few subscribers. So thank you guys. But yeah, I couldn't have gotten to 100,000 views without you guys because although some of those views are me because I do I do watch my video over after I post it just to make sure um, everything seems fine um, I, and I think that counts as a view because when I when I finish watching it my view count goes to number one so usually view number one for every video is me um, I admit that I couldn't have clicked a hundred thousand times, so <laughs> thank you guys. Um, and also, another milestone I got last week for YouTube was, um, was the, what was it? 150 video uploaded. So I have remarkably done 150 videos, actually more now because I think this is video 152 yeah I think this is video 152 so I have done 152 videos which is crazy um, so maybe that's how I got my hundred thousand um, views although um, one video my 2020 completion video which is my biggest video on my channel that actually has about 10,000 views. So most, well, a good chunk of my 100,000 views is from that video. So that's like a good chunk. That's like a tenth of my views are from that video. So, and I also gained like, I think I gained like 180 subscribers just from that one video. So if you are and I didn't, like that video didn't start getting picked up until like a month after I posted it so and I still get a good chunk of views for it so in case you wonder old videos still do do sometimes do very well on YouTube so yeah I got to a hundred thousand views last week and um, I'm at a hundred fifty plus video uploads now so thank you guys um, So, yeah, what else can I talk about? <laughs> so, what am I posting this week? You know, I'm actually not that ahead anymore in my video recording. Like, this Monday video, I've been recording it pretty much just the weekend before because I am talking about current events, I guess current events for me. Um, but my other videos don't... My kidding ups, I try not to talk about current events just because I those my kidding ups are a little bit ahead. So um, the kidding up you see this week, I have already recorded. I might, I think I might have, I yeah, I've recorded it already. The kidding up, um, I recorded it maybe a week or two ago, depending on which one I decide to put up. I've already actually started diamond painting. I'm all actually almost finished with the diamond painting that I'm so. So yeah, my kidding ups are a little bit more ahead, um, but all my other videos, I'm actually a, I'm actually usually just recording them just a week or less before it gets posted. So I am not I'm not as ahead as I used to be. Like I used to like have several kidding ups ready videos, several like unboxing videos ready, and 
on and in several kidding down videos ready and I and the completion videos I, I had like two or three of those like ready to be put on so now <laughs> now apparently I've gotten slightly more comfortable with recording videos that I don't have this great fear that if I don't record it like way in advance that I'm not going to be able to put up the video so yeah apparently I've gotten a slightly more comfortable with just kind of almost winging my video uploads for the week so yeah I'm still pondering which completion video I'm going to be putting up on Wednesday because I I do try to have like a kind of schedule so Wednesday is a completion Friday is my kidding up video um, Tuesday and Thursday have been unboxings and um, Monday is this video um, usually something that that involves this box so so yeah my two unboxings are recorded already so I have that um, I just haven't uploaded it to YouTube yet because um, I just recorded it shortly before this video <laughs> um, and I'm still pondering if there's still one more in here I'm pondering what completion video to record for this week um, I do actually have a couple that I have completed I've just been really behind on my recording of the completion videos mainly because I, I do this on purpose mainly because when I would record the completion video right away I was really harsh on my speaking I don't I, like on my opinion on it I don't know why but I think it's just that you spent so much time diamond painting it that you just you were just too close to it so I found if I wait um, until later and then kind of look at the painting like after a while I start um, I start like appreciating the beauty of the finish and not dwell on all the negative of I guess dur the during the diamond painting process so I mean sometimes there's like nothing there's like no negative with the diamond painting process but I was overly harsh sometimes when um, I would I was overly harsh when I would record the completion video too too quickly so I think yeah so I have to see my finishes I don't actually post my completion videos in order um, because I do some I said like right now I have let's see I have one two three four wait one two three four I have four, five, five diamond paintings finished. I might combine a couple of the completions, so it'll be two of them in one video um, that that you haven't seen yet. So the completion video. So seven, seven, six. Okay, so there's no seven, seven, six. So 776 pink medium does not exist in here, so I'm going to cut Considering there's a lot of pinks, I'm surprised that this is not included, but maybe it's because there are a lot of pinks already So 776 is not part of the chart here, so The next number is 777 red deep um, so yeah, um, I am trying to see what completion video I should make for this week. I think I might wing it since Monday is a holiday. I might, I might just record it on Monday or yeah. Do I feel like we're, it depends on if I feel like recording something after this video. Um, sometimes this video does, does tire me out. Like talking for this long continuously is actually much more tiring I guess than you think I might I should probably just ran I should just like stop the video at some point and just take a break and then come back to it which might be a good idea um, because my 
So since these videos are so long, my recording device does, um, like, st stop recording at some point and then start recording again because there's like a, I think, I, for I think it's like around 42 minutes my, my recording, like, that's, I guess, how long a video can be before it stops video and starts it up again. So if I stop it at before that point, then um, I, there, there won't be some weird lull. So seven, seven, eight. But yeah, it does. So sometimes maybe I should just say what numbers these are. Seven, seven, eight is antique mall, very light. Um, man, I think I might need to put wax on my pen. I didn't do anything prior to the video, so. <laughs> so maybe I'll finish this strip and then take a break and then come back to the video. Um, oops, one escapey here. So that's 778 Antique Mauve. Okay, next one is 779, which is brown. So yeah, let's see, what else can there be to talk about? <laughs> oh, so someone made a comment and said that they like my accent, and I'm like, wow, I have an accent? I never thought of myself having an accent, um, but I guess. Uh, well, I mean, um, what's great about YouTube, it's a worldwide platform, um, so what to me sounds like normal speak to other people is like, oh, you got, you have an accent. And I don't know what kind of accent I have. Um, yeah, I have no idea what kind of accent I have. I mean, to me, what I, um, the American accents I have association to, like not, well, me, not personally, but what I think of as American accents are um, the Southern accents, which, no, I'm not from the South, so no Southern accent for me. Um, and then I, I do think, like, there's, aren't there, like, a whole bunch of accents in, um, in New York? You always see, like, those New York-based, like, shows or something, and some of the people in different parts of New York have accents, too. But otherwise, I don't know. I, I think the rest of the country just has generic, I don't know if it's generic, I don't know. I don't know. What is the generic American accent? Um, but yeah, the rest of the country, uh, yeah, other than the southern accent, um, and then the weird, different borough kind of New York accents, I don't know if America has any other accent than just normal, I don't, see, I don't want to say word normal, that's bad, um, but other than, I would like to call it broadcast, um, in, um, broadcast American English, right? What you hear on TV. Um, but yeah, no, I think if anything, um, I guess my accent is just like a different, like it's, I, it's like a different timbre, like T-I-M-B-R-E, that's the right word. I, it looks like timbre, but it's, I think pronounced timbre. It's like we just have a different tone to the voices. So, so yeah, I don't know what my tone of voice sounds like, but <laughs> but thank you if you like my maybe non-existent um, accent. So is there no 781? So yeah, I don't have 781 in here either. So 781 is the next one that is skipped. So that's already what? Th Two I this is my third one that I skipped in this in this chart here. So oh yeah, I'm just gonna see if I could just it's just sometimes easier to do the straight line with the blade. Because that's how I do it when I just do these ones. I just get the blade and then I there. So yeah. What my accent is, I have no idea, but, oh, 
I don't need the 781 sticker, but I'll just stick it in there since I already put the sticker on a bag. Um, so 782 is Topaz Dark. But yeah, no, I'm not versed in knowledge of the different accents. Um, I am so... Like when I hear... When I hear like a... Um, when I watch something from like the UK or Australia, I am a horrible person. I really can't tell the accents apart. Um, so I guess no me being a linguist um, or... Yeah, I think most Americans wouldn't be able to tell the accents apart. I, yeah. Unless, you know, they blatantly say that they're <laughs> Australian or... I think... No, I don't know. The yeah, no idea. I wouldn't be able to tell them apart. I am that kind of I'm that kind of horrible American that would not be able to tell them apart. Um, other than that, I mean, I guess there are. I don't know if it's American accents of like people from different um, different nationalities. So I mean. They speak English, but it has a slight accent based off of their, um, I guess, first language. But, yeah, I, I'm i one of those Americans that don't speak more than one language. So, English. Um, 783s. Topaz medium. But, yeah, if there is an accent, it is California, maybe. Um, I am, I am Filipino American, I guess, but I don't, I don't have the Filipino accent. I ha I know what the Filipino accent sounds like, and I don't think I have it. Um, so that's not it either. Although my sister says if I am around, like, Filipinos talking in Tagalog, I do get the accent because I don't know you know how it's just kind of like associate like accent by just being around people you start gaining their accent so I feel like if I did move into a place in the US that had an accent I'd probably just end up picking it up um, but yeah see now I'm like what else can I talk about what else so yeah the today's video well, the video that got posted today, which is Saturday, um, my how to make labels for my kidding up, that was just a bonus one. So um, I might make more, um, I guess, more of these how to ish videos when I actually just get around to making it. <laughs> it, it does take a little bit more thought than these more routine videos but I do welcome any suggestions of what kind of video to do next um, because sometimes coming up with the ideas is the hardest thing um, I, I think my next non-normal video will be my storage stash video I just have to put it together and kind of talk myself into doing it, you know, because the stash videos sometimes have, like, uh, especially, like, I've seen, like, have, um, the stash videos sometimes do have some negative, um, ness in there because people are like, why do you have so many? Um, but, you know, i pay for my stuff with my own money so if I want to have 30 different storage containers which I have no idea I feel, I'd have to go count if I want to have 30 different storage containers I could have 30 different storage containers it's my right to have it I am not going into the poor house trying to buy more storage containers so yeah See, now, now I kind of want to do it just so that I can count how many storage things I have, just so that I'll be like, yeah, I really do have, maybe I have too much storage. 
I although I don't think there's ever uh, too much storage. So look at all these blues in a row here. And then there's a random brown. <laughs> But yeah, I think that will be my next not routine video. I don't know when it will be up because I have not recorded it. I am just telling you I am planning to record it um, because at this point I do not have any more storage on my way to me. So if I ever am going to record it, this is the time when I don't have anything coming. But, <laughs> but we will see. I just have to gather all the stuff together, you know, and think about the how, like the order that I should show it, you know, so it's not a disorganized stash video. Um, so yeah, what else can I talk about? I was going to take a break, but I'm like, I'm almost done. Let's just power through this thing. And then if there's like a little blip, because that's when the recording stopped and it started again, then there's a little blip. Oh, 7.96. So yeah. So yeah, I think I am going to start, um, wow, there's actually a lot of the other color in this one should i bother taking it out or just pour it in um i i am starting to like be a little bit more adventurous in my different diamond painting companies so i am like i'm i'm look i'm going through a couple of the more um couple more of the licensed diamond painting companies because so far i've only really done um Dreamer Designs and Diamond Art Club, um, I have, but now, now that, um, I guess my snack size diamond paintings are getting fulfilled by my product reviews, now I have like, okay, I could go venture out and look for, um, other companies to try out, so I, so yeah, I'm just... Venturing, I'm not going to say which ones yet until I get them because I did order one this week. Um, I haven't gotten it yet, so we'll see. Um, I am primarily ordering still the smaller sizes if I can find them, and I'm usually ordering something that's on their sale or clearance um, section just because I feel like if I'm going to try out a place, I don't want to pay full price. Um, so. <laughs> So yeah, I, so look out for that. I also have bought, I bought a wood pen just to try it out. Um, I bought it actually like a couple weeks ago and I just wanted to try it out more. So I do have that at some point that I want to show you, um, my opinion on the wood pen. So, and then I'm thinking of... So, and I also bought a polymer clay pen, um, and I don't know, I don't know if I'm going to show that. I didn't really, I, I didn't really like the polymer clay pen, so, um, so yeah, I, so I'm not sure if I'll even show it. I mean, I bought it and I, I recorded the unboxing, but. Um, I didn't really like it. I didn't find the clay pen um, any lighter than the... Well, it was lighter, but I think it just might be lighter because it was smaller, not necessarily because it was lighter. So I don't think I... I don't think I'm going to buy any more polymer clay pens just because of that. I mean, I might in the future, but I think I know which pens I like now. And I'll, yeah, we'll see. And then I am thinking, I don't know. I, I was thinking of trying to venture out and try out different, like buy like a fancy tray, but it's not really my, like, so like the pen thing, I, I got the wood pen and I got the polymer clay pen and then I'm done. I'm, 
I don't have I don't get as much enjoyment in buying those items as I do storage. So um so yeah, I think my my pen my pen adventure is pretty much done um, with my wood pen and my polymer clay pens that I got from Etsy. So um, I have thought of trying out some of the more specialty trays, but I don't know if I have the interest in it. The only kind of tray I might want to try is something that has like a covered funnel portion here. Um, just because I figure it would probably be easier to pour back into the storage container. Um, but, but I mean, this, this tray that I got from, was the Saner Direct um, four pack I got. I actually really like this. I actually kind of like it better than the, the big white tray just because this spout is bigger. I did end up cutting off the, the pen holder because I don't need it, but I do, yeah, like I have, I have enough trays that I don't know if I'll, I'll ever make the effort of going through the tray, the tray battles. Um, so yeah, see, it's just, like I said, it's like, it's not as entertaining to me as, um, buying more storage. So I don't think I'm, yeah, I think I'm, it's like a in the future thing. So I think instead of like the accessory, um, trials, I might just go for the different diamond painting companies um, and try out something that's in their super duper clearance because <laughs> yeah super duper clearance or super but yeah we'll see these are just like plans for the future I don't want to just keep buying things just to show it on the channel um, but I do like, I'm, the things I'm going to buy are things that I want to try anyway, so, so yeah. So yeah, that's why I don't think I'm going to go for the tray collection thing. Yeah, if you see this, this box is a lot emptier just because I haven't put in anything and all my rounds are gone already. But yeah, um, yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't think I'm going to, yeah, I don't think I'm going to do the tray thing that I'm talking about. Um, because I mean... Yeah, do I want to spend my money on that or do I want to spend the money on a diamond painting? So I think I think I'm going for or more storage because <laughs> that that excites me. Uh, but yeah, I think I think I'm going to start just you know, different diamond painting companies that have the legally licensed stuff that I like the image. I have to like the image. I'm not just going to go and try them out, but I don't like anything any of their images so I have to like their images and if you notice I don't I tend to gravitate more towards flower paint pictures landscape pictures um plant pictures so now I'm, I'm naming all the like plant-based stuff and then I like animal pictures but like colorful animal pictures so um I don't tend to do pictures with people except for my heaven earth design one but that was more of a like this will be a fun challenge picture and not necessarily because and I and I like the images but people pictures I don't tend to do especially in the um more expensive diamond paintings because I don't want like a massive diamond painting of a person I don't know if I were gonna do people diamond paintings it would be a small diamond painting so so yeah and uh, that's my main problem with the legally licensed diamond painting companies is they do not have diamond paintings for people like me who don't want to do the ginormous ones I mean 40 by 50 and below people or maybe 45 by 60 and below. You know, there's there's an audience for, I think there's an audience for the smaller diamond paintings. Um, not everything has to be like 60 by 90s or more, or even 50 by 70 sometimes I think is a little bit on the big side. Um, not everything has to be that big. And I kind of feel like, okay, so there's no, 
No, wait, there is. There's no 806. Even though I do have an 806, be apparently I have an 8. Do I have it? Did I put this on the wrong thing and this was supposed to be 807? No. So, yeah. I must have not kitted this down yet. So I'm missing 806, even though I do have a drill for it. So, um, in a from a different diamond painting. So, so 806 is missing here. Let me cut up the piece of the cover paper so that it doesn't get dirty. I, so this is already one, two, three, four that are missing from this. So 807 is peacock blue. So yeah, what was I talking about? I have no idea anymore. Um, but yeah, no, I think I was, yeah, I was talking about me venturing out to to do, to find a couple of the more legally licensed diamond painting companies. Um, but yeah, no, I, there, it just depends on the type of images. Like if I don't like any of them, I'm not going to spend that money on them. Like, and, or like, or they're just too big. Um, like if it's too big and I'm not planning to put it up on the wall, I don't really, I mean, I did buy my big portfolio um, bag, but yeah, we'll see. But yeah, no, these are just plans. It hasn't happened yet. Um, but yeah, I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. I, 809 Delft Blue. But you know, I have so many diamond paintings already. Why am I talking about buying more? <laughs> I mean, it is interesting to try out different diamond painting companies because, you know, then you could figure out whether you like them or not. I mean, there are some that I know I'm never gonna buy from, like DIY Moon Shop. I'm sorry, they're just way too expensive. I just cannot justify spending that much money on one diamond painting um and i've seen reviews for them and they're very very mixed so yeah um i have contemplated buying one of those crazy like 200 plus color diamond paintings um, but they those are very expensive also but i feel like they're expensive for a reason like having 200 plus colors those to me might be worth the like really expensive price so but yeah no i don't know if i have any desire to do a diamond painting with 200 something colors i would just think that diamond painting it would be such a massive like like it would just be too hard like it won't be fun anymore. I don't know. I mean, for all I know, it, if I did try it, it would be so much fun to do. But I think you would just be spending all your time looking for the the um, the color instead of like diamond painting. <laughs> like your all your time would be spent looking for the color. Um, so yeah, I think yeah. Do I really want to do a two hundred something color diamond painting? I don't know. Um, might be interesting to try, but right now, nope, not, not my, not, don't think I want to do that challenge. I think I'd rather go bigger first before I go multi, multiple, 50 million color kind of thing. So, but I do think those ones are expensive, but they're worth the expense just because of the greater, greater amount of color. But I do like that there are more and more diamond painting companies that are um, licensing the the artist. But 
I still like my um, budget friendly sites because I like doing snack sizes and like I said before a lot of these um, premiere sites do not cater towards that audience so yep still gonna do my snack sizes I yeah there are plenty of stock images that are available that it does not always have to be a legally licensed diamond painting for it to be legal I guess but yeah that's another I, I don't want to go into any of that drama there's just too much that there's just so much drama with that issue that now I I diamond paint for fun I do not need that kind of extra stress in my life. The diamond painting is supposed to be a stress reliever and I do not need more stress. So yeah. What else can I talk about? I'm almost done so maybe this will just be 816. Just be like a on the home stretch. So 816 is garnet. So next week, um, next week's Monday video I, I don't know if I'll make a video um, next Monday is my birthday. Yay! I'm gonna be older. Older! Well, yeah. Be 30-something. You know, part of the geriatric millennial generation. That's what they call the people in my age group. Millennials, but the old millennials. <laughs> so, so I may or may not have a video up on Monday next week because it's my birthday and I might not have time to record this or I might I don't know um, Friday is my day off so I might have extra time but we'll see I don't know what next week's video is gonna be it's either either it's gonna be part two of my reorganizing but I have to think about how I'm going to reorganize or it'll just be what are my part five of this video or it might just be like I'm so behind on my kidding down which is true I'm really behind on my kidding down and do a kidding down video we'll see if I even do a video next week <laughs> for this for Monday so let's see next apparently I just need two more left so 818 and 819 I'm just going to cut it from the box so I don't have to take it all out. So these are both pink. 818 is baby pink and 819 is baby pink light. So yeah, 818 is baby pink. So this this um, page of the DMC chart found four of the ones that were missing. How many did I say that they were missing? Like eight? So, um, I think I've already, there's already been like two, so I think the next ones are probably going to be pretty much all filled up because this one already took out, took out half of the ones that were missing, so. So yeah, 818 is baby pink. This box is so like empty now, um, because I took out the rounds, um. And I think this box was already my, my lowest filled box, so... Oop, did I not cut that right? No, I did. Eight, one, nine is baby pink light. So last color! Yes, I'm looking at the clock and I'm like, hey look, it's still recording, just making sure. Um, but am I getting faster at this? It's less than an hour <laughs> so far, but I'm probably going to keep talking and then it'll go over the hour mark. Um, but yeah, 819 is baby pink light. Okay, so there is page four of this chart done. Um, as you can see, I have uh, like four vacancies, but yeah, here is, here they are. Man, I am really bad at diamond painting straight when there's no actual grid to look at, 
but and I'm actually much better at the rounds, but that's because they take up more space. So yeah, here is the colors here. It's really pretty. Like look at this orange here, and then look at all these blues right here. All right, so um, that's it for today. Um, thank you for watching, and happy diamond painting. Bye.